considering the uh, spiking interest in my model boats, I figured I'd give you folks just a little look at the uh, workshop here at the uh, height of some weekend building. When my uh, back gives out from uh, trying to uh, illustrate my book, which has to be done by the end of the month, and I come here and sit and do some lake boat stuff. So here you get a good chance to see uh, things like my paint bottles. You notice that each one pretty much has a color code on the top. That way I don't have to pull them out one after another to figure out what color I got. And up here I have all of the uh, tools stacked in an absolutely maniac-like order, but I know where everything is. And right up top here are the boats themselves. So I've been doing work on several. Uh, the, currently on the bench right now is the uh, William Clay Ford. Uh, she's going to be the next one featured in a video. And she needed some work done. Uh, the area where her uh, servos would go for throttle were not constructed for the current radio that I'm using. It was actually constructed for my old radio from back in the 70s. So I had to redo the seats for that, and especially for the, uh, for the throttle. And over here... We have the Lebanon, who has just uh, come out of getting some repair work. Just actually a little added feature to keep her uh, her arm for the rudder from falling out of the servo. And then way in the back is the Garden City, which, believe it or not, had to have a complete engine change. So I had to knock the engine out of her Friday night, installed the new one on Saturday, and today, I was busy working on the Ford, so I didn't get a chance to work the throttle on her and install it. But uh, it's a 500-ohm throttle, so she's going to throttle nicely. The Lebanon is, is my actual oldest boat that I have in the fleet. So uh, she was built in 1981, the summer of 1981. And uh, she's a good floating boat. She throttles well. She takes any kind of waves, steers well. Got some good range on her with the new antenna I put on her a few years back. So that's a kind of a quick look at the workshop. A lot of work being done. My my two old radios there. Yeah, I use the old-fashioned two channels, but I get a lot out of them. So anyway, uh, that's what I've been doing this weekend along with some illustration on my book. And uh, we are going to be doing some videos on how to. I'm going to show you guys probably how to build a 600-footer, a classic 600-footer, just like this one right here. So that's where we're going to start, and uh, we'll go through it step by step. It's going to take a long time, but I've got some good techniques you'll learn. So for now, I'm going to get back to finish up my work for the evening. It's quite late, but I always work late. And I got a few illustrations to uh, tend to. And then I'll be back at it. Oh, yeah, this is the Sacramento. I'm sorry, no. Yeah, this is Sacramento. And uh, she's in because this aft mast of hers is, you can see it's sagging. It's broken. It's got to get fixed. One of the things I want you to notice about Sacramento, those two lifeboats are actually carved from the wood of the real steamer Sacramento. So when I sail her, the Sacramento lives again. All right, we'll see you later.